everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Danielle just in case you didn't know now you do and today I have a haul because let's face it we're all bored and when we can't go into stores and wander around and window shop we real shop online and um, I went a little crazy some of these are from makers some of these are from big brands it's a mix um, I will link everything that I can below um, because yeah that's just that's how these things work sometimes I don't and then you all ask for the links and so and when I do nobody looks at the links um, I'm going to start with the things I got from Sephora because I just got my two orders in over the last two days. Alright, let's get into it. So, um, first two items were just the samples I got, um, which I'm totally going to count because I picked them out myself. So this is the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. Um, it just, I wanted to try it, um. Plus, it was one of the only ones that sounded sort of good. So, got that. And then I got a little sachet of the um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, which is the moisturizer I use. But um, it is nearly gone. It's to the point where I have to um, dump the thing over and like pat it on my hand to get anything to come out because it won't go up the pump anymore. And it's how little is left. So, oh, if you hear a creaking noise, it's because I'm sitting on my desk chair that you can't see because it is really low back. Um, so that's that noise. <sighs> I feel like I haven't done this in a while. It feels weird. Um, okay, next is a refill, repurchase. I've had several of these. Um, I always get the smaller two because I find they get kind of gooky. I'll show you what I mean by gooky. Because I... This is the one I have now. See how it's almost gone. But like, look at the inside. Doesn't not all that appealing, right? So, and this is after I cleaned it yesterday. So, um, I just get a little one. Uh, that way, it's easy to carry with me. But it's the Ultra First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Parched Skin. So, with how much I've been washing my hands, especially because I've been doing deliveries for masks. Um, I will hand sanitize my hands before I get out of the car to go up to their house and deliver it. And as soon as I get back in the car, I hand sanitize again. So, my hands have been a little dry and scaly. And even with hand cream, um, they're still dry and scaly. Uh, then I got a refill of my Invisibobbles. These are the Slim, and this one... What's this color? I don't know. It was something fun. Oh, Bella Rosa Galaxy. So it has like rose gold filament in it. They're really pretty. Not sure if you can see the color. But like this is the one I have now. And look how stretched out it is. You can actually just um put like hot water or boiling water they say on these. And they like shrink back up to what they're supposed to be. But I only have this one left of the Slims, so I wanted to get more. Then we got a restock of the um, Fresh Sugar Lemon Perfume. I ran out of this months ago, but this stuff is actually pretty expensive. So I just got this small bottle. Um, this is 30 milliliters. Smells like lemonade. Um... Mm, oh my god, it smells so good. Mm. This is pretty much the only perfume that I actually like to wear. And this lasts me so long um, because I don't know why it lasts so long. It does. I've had a rollerball for a while, um, but I think the rollerball has actually gone off because there's like little floaties in it now, which is not really cool. And then the final Sephora item was this, 
which is the uh, Sephora Favorites Fresh Squeezed um, kit. I think I got this on sale. Um, maybe. I can't remember. Oh yeah, because I ordered this during the VIB, like the VIP VIB um, sale thing. I don't know. Um, so, it has a bunch of products in it as is normal with the favorites. So, it has a full size of the Watermelon Brightening Face Mask from Milk Makeup. Then there is a full size um, Sephora um, brand Dragon Fruit Lip Scrub in a cardboard tube, which I think is pretty awesome. I wonder if there's any metal inside there. Um, also, I have no idea what Dragon Fruit um, smells like so we'll see how that works out then there is oh my god I can't get it out this itty bitty teeny weeny little tub of the Ola Hendrickson um, banana bright eye cream I don't have an eye cream so I'm looking forward to trying this because I am on the hunt for one I just want one that doesn't like irritate my eyes then we have this little itty bitty, a little bit bigger, but like it's a mask. So this is the Glow Re Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. So I'm getting old because I will be 33 this year. And I, um, I think I need to start using like anti-aging products. I don't know. That's what the world says. Who knows? Then in here we have cannot get it out. This is the travel size of the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Um, it does definitely uh, mattify your skin. I tried on the back of my hand yesterday um, and it did that. Um, it did have a bit of a cooling effect. I don't really have anything else to say. It does not have a peach scent, which is amazing because the eyeshadows and the and the blushes do, and they're heavily scented. Okay, and the second last product in here, which I can't really get out um, because it's wedged in here good. This is the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake uh, Hydra Full Retexturizing Gel Cream. So this is really what I wanted to try in here. Um, it says deep hydration, powerful pineapple enzymes. Your glowy complexion starts here. I'm down for that. Um, so I'm looking for the new moisturizer and I'm hoping this will be it. Um, and then maybe I'll buy the full size one. Last but not least, there is a sheet mask, which this is the Sephora brand lychee lychee face mask um don't know what it's oh, ultra hydrating okay or ultra moisturizing and brightening i don't really like sheet masks because they're so cold on your skin that the second you put it on it's like <clears throat> yeah i don't know i just not a fan but i will try it out for science slash you know, a fun picture on Instagram. Okay, so next up um, is something very different that I have never really shown on here before, and that is planner stickers. So these are from Bido, Bido and Co. And they do a lot of like corgi themed um, planner stickers, and I use my bullet journal religiously. So these guys are Canadian based. I will make sure I link their Etsy store um, below. Um, but first off, they gave me three sampler sheets. One I already gave to my sister because it was Animal Crossing themed. And so these are the two freebies that came. And I just love them so much. All the cute little corgis. Then these are the sheets I picked up. So this one is for periods. I'm sure you can get that by the crying, bleeding dog. Then we've got a little work 
Corgi. And then we have a phone bill do Corgi. Which I find, this one is really handy because um, I never remember to pay my phone bill on time. Yeah, that's bad, right? Yeah. Alright, then we have a little laundry corgi. And they're just, they're so freaking cute. Then of course, if you guys know my dog, Abby, we have a little long dog chonky dash end. Which I just think these are freaking adorable. And then we have a Happy Mail Corgi. And these will be getting stuck to any packages until I run out um, that you order off my store, rebelliousclove.com. So, got those. I also got a little um, pop socket for my sister from them, which was freaking adorable. So, that's that. All right, so this next item was definitely like a treat yourself kind of moment. Um, I have been dreaming of owning these since they came out, like since they were announced as a product. And I'm not going to lie, being able to actually afford them in the middle of a quarantine is kind of like, um, but I was able to and um, they also count as a business expense. So just because I use them exclusively for being able to edit on my computer, being able to talk on my phone to clients, and um, they're not, like, they're always used in a business setting for me, so I treated myself. I got the Apple AirPod Pros. I needed to get the Pros because they have the grips on them, um, so they mean, it means that they stay in my ears. The other ones don't stay in my ears. Um, they follow all the time. And so these were the only option as well. I find that I get a lot of headaches when I wear um, regular grippy earphones. So having the like vent and the pass through has really helped with the pressure that it creates when I am, when I've got headphones in. So um, these have been a game changer for me actually. It means that I can put on a YouTube video plug these in and, well, you know what I mean, plug them into my ears, and then I can sit down and sew for hours. I can watch webinars and not have the whole world know what I'm doing. And it also is nice to be able to have like a hands-free option if I need to be typing on my computer, but then also, you know, on a call or something, so. I got them, they were expensive and made me cry a little at how expensive they are, but you know, I'm gonna say they're worth it. I have quite enjoyed using them and um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about them. And actually, you know what, that's not all it is. I wasn't even gonna tell you guys that I bought them um, because Sometimes when people are online and they share about something that they purchase that's expensive, people just come for them and they rip them apart. And I don't want to experience that. I shouldn't be punished for working hard because and being able to pay for these things, you know? I haven't stopped working really since this quarantine started. Especially once I started offering masks for people, um, which are priced really reasonably. Sorry, I snapped my glasses case closed. Um, which are priced really reasonably, and I have made like a couple hundred masks at this point. I just spent a whole day yesterday sewing 26 masks for my neighbor. Um, and that may not sound like a lot, but <laughs> like it's a lot. And I'm one person, and so I need to keep my business going and still, like, consume the podcasts and the things. And I just, I don't want to get shouted out on the internet for buying myself something that is seen as expensive or extravagant when I never buy shit like that. Um, yeah, anyway. Also, keep in mind, it's a business expense. And... 
they are used exclusively to run my business. Anyway, moving on, a very practical thing I purchased. These blue light uh, blocking glasses. I have no idea if they work, but as you can see, they kind of reflect back blue light to you. Not a lot right now because it's actually reflecting like my monitor, which has the blue light turned off. But when I turn to the sun or my laptop screen, it's a lot more. So anyway, I know these are quite reflecty. I did not get the anti-reflection, I got the anti-scratch co uh, coating. These are from Firmu, and I just posted about them on my Instagram today, which is Wednesday when I'm filming this, and um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. They're a cat eye shape, they are the blue light lens, and um, so far I'm pretty happy with them. I've only had them a few days. But I'm trying really hard to use them whenever I'm sitting in front of my computer um, because I find that I'm getting more headaches staring at my computer so much and I just, I needed something to help. So um, definitely trying these out. I'm really considering purchasing another pair but with the sunglass lenses in them. Um, but we'll see how these go for a little while. Also, they don't really, like, they don't touch my eyelashes, which is huge when they're pushed way up. And they're, these are, like, this is touching the bridge of my nose, like, or up here. And they're not rubbing on my eyelashes. They rest very gently on my cheeks right here, which is fine. They don't um, overly stick. And I'm not feeling, like, super sweaty wearing them, so... I find sometimes some glasses, um, mostly sunglasses, they, when they sit on your face, it immediately, like, causes sweat to pool there. That's not happening. So, they came in this case, uh, with, like, a little wipe cloth. You can get, uh, Firmu offers, like, subscription, not subscription, prescription, um, glasses as well. I know Tammy, the owner of Happy Thoughts, um got like bifocals for really cheap um and they can be really expensive so anyway keep those here at my desk next up let's talk about some candles because i've got two um i was trolling etsy for unscented candles as i do pretty regularly and i found this one this one is from lit candle company i will make sure it's linked um, I'm pretty sensitive to smells and so I don't buy scented candles anymore um, because I just know they're going to bother me. Doesn't matter how good they smell in the store, when I burn them after like half an hour, the smell gets to me. So I have one scented candle left and once that is gone, I won't purchase anymore. Um, so this one's called the Bare Naked uh, one because there is no scent. And it comes in this cool jar. Like, I like, you know, it has a lid. So these uh, these guys are a Canadian-based company. I've been trying, if I'm purchasing on Etsy, to shop within Canada just for getting products delivered. Um, because things are taking forever. Just, they have huge volumes of um, packages, like Christmas levels of packages. So... Um, and much less people to process them. So that's where this candle came from. I will make sure to link it. Um, they had a ton of other scents if you love scented candles. Um, but it's a soy wax. Yeah, soy candle. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I like that, like, the jar, I, ac I can actually reuse this afterwards. Sometimes you get candles and you're like, what the hell am I going to use this for now? But this one, actually useful. And this baby, this one is really special. So this candle is a collaboration between my friend Emily, who owns Air It Forward, and she makes beautifully scented candles. Um, I just can't purchase them because of my sensitivities. So, um, and this is a collaboration between her and a pottery maker, or, um, yeah, pottery, I, yeah, by, that goes by the name of Yellow Studios, based in Picton. So this here, the outside is made by Yellow Studios, as you can see on the bottom here, yellow, there you go. And then inside 
is one of Emily's candles. Because of this special nature of this collaboration, I was able to get this unscented because they were made as they were ordered. They weren't, you know, a certain number of different scents, which is amazing. And this little, like, thing, the pot ceramic thing that it's in, is meant to be a wine tumbler when you're done. Which I don't drink wine, but I would definitely put juice in this when it's empty. Um, maybe even, like, a little plant would be really cute. But I saw these on her Instagram and lost my goddamn mind and immediately went and asked her if I could purchase it unscented. And of course she was like, yeah, of course. So I did. She also makes a ton of different things, like she has candles, wax melts, room sprays, um, car air fresheners that you can reload. Um, yeah. So, and then I just picked this up from her house because she doesn't live that far from me. Um, she lives in Gatonokwe and I live in Kingston, so. Yeah, picked it up from her. All right, last but certainly not least, because I have definitely bought way more dumb shit, uh, including a vacuum for my studio, but I'm not gonna show that to you because it's a vacuum. But something really friggin' cute that I bought is this, look at it, it's so cute. This is a Crescent Moon hair clip, um, as you can see. It's made by my friend Kirsten, from Vanderzee, so this may not really work because of the way my hair is up, but you just sort of clip it in, and then it just so small and so cute. Yeah. Um, it's really, really teeny. It's really more like hair jewelry, so you can put your hair up, and then you just go to clip it in. It doesn't hold much hair. Um, but it's so small and adorable and just looks really nice. And then these, also from Van Der Zee. Not sure. There you go. These are safe, well not safety pin. These are paperclip threaders. As in, they go through your ears, like here. I can't put them in right now because I have to actually put in other earrings first. Because it's been a few days since I wore these. And my ear holes, my earring holes, close up really fast, so. Um, but I love these. They stay in your ears so well. She also makes a stud version. So if you don't really like threaders where, like, this bit here gets put into your ear. And it sits, like, in your ear. So they sit like this. And if you don't really like threaders, she makes a stud version where the stud is, sticks out from here. So it looks like this on your ear, as opposed to like this. Um, and oh my god, I'm so in love with them. I want to wear them all the time. So yeah, um, that's what I purchased in the last little wit bit. Um, don't worry, there will be another haul in a few weeks. Because I also purchased a lot of things from the Cheerfully Made virtual market and if you're not familiar Cheerfully Made is a store in Almont which is just outside of Ottawa and um they do uh spring craft markets all the time and not all the time every spring and they are heavily populated and people go to them and build like their whole season around it and obviously that couldn't happen this year so I purchased a lot of things a lot of things and I'm really excited for them to come in. They'll be here in a couple weeks because they have to be sent from the individual makers to the store to be repackaged and sent to me. So that's my haul for now. Um, any updates? Oh yeah, big friggin' update. We hit 20,000 subscribers. Like, holy big deal, Batman. Um, how did I not, like, remember that? It happened a few days ago. That is something that I've been working towards by like putting out strategic content that will gain more people and more subscribers. And you guys helped out because when I asked, you subscribed. So amazing. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing because we are a fun bunch. I, you know what? I don't know if we're a fun bunch. We like to hang out sometimes. All right. 
Um, so that's the news. What else of, is going on? Nothing else really. Um, you can still get masks on my website. Uh, that's not changed. Also, I have been updating it weekly, so there's new products on there. And there will be new products on Friday. So, maybe, I don't know, sign up to the email list so you know when new stuff's coming out. It's linked in the description. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!